Hello. Good afternoon, adventurers. Hope all of you are doing well. I almost fell over when I sat down, so I just like need a moment. <laughs> just fell over. Got all excited to play. This is T. Welcome to my stream. And was definitely in a mood today when I woke up. So this is gonna be all about positivity today. Just gonna shake it out, play some journey, relax. The world seems to be hitting pretty hard lately. So just a few housekeeping <clears throat> housekeeping issues. One, votes came in and our marathon stream of 12 hours next week, hopefully 12 hours, will be Shadow of the Colossus. And that was a uh, second place. And we'll start Secret of Mana soon as our next RPG and Code Vein once we finish Dragon's Dogma because this is an RPG channel even though we're playing an indie game tonight. Um, both of those games will be, well, all three of them, will be first playthroughs. So come sit, hang out, offer some comments, help backseat and make sure I go to the right place and I can actually like finish the game during the stream time of the marathon. <laughs> I don't want to have to do it in two parts. I also wanted to acknowledge and thank our most recent followers. We've got a few people that have joined the tea party. This week we had uh, Wild Mango Haze, Robin Hood's Hat, Onyx Blade, and Eye Battery. And uh, that makes us one step closer to our goal of 66 people. And I'm just so excited. I mean, I, I have a day job, so I'm not worried about money. Like, I'm not here to make money. I just want to connect with you guys, especially during this COVID world build our little corner of the internet and just talk about our passions and the things that we love because there's enough hate in the world. Just want to be with everyone else. And we are going to finish with Journey today. Interestingly enough, there appears to have been a glitch. My cloak is different than everybody else's according to the Journey Discord, but that's okay. And there's a few more trophies I can probably get. But we're just going to run around and relax, and today's going to be all about you guys. So whatever you want to talk about in chat, whatever you want to bring up, or I've got loads of positive quotes and memes to cheer us all up, we're all for it. Hi, His and Her Play. Hi, Vox. Good evening. How are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. How's your day been so far? Love. This is so relaxing. Like, I'm gonna be sad to see this game go. Can you guys hear me okay over the music? And can you hear the music? Because I want to make sure you can hear this amazing soundtrack. Oh good, wonderful. Okay, so this is our third day playing this. This would be like our fifth time if we beat it. Not beat, complete. You don't beat it, it's a journey. I did follow Vox's rules, suggestions, and kind of played around with my button controls so it's a lot easier. See, I have this glitch that even though I've beaten the game four times, that I don't get any more 
decorations up my cloak, which is odd. Music is a little soft. Try that. Maybe that's better. It is soft in parts. So the more I do research about this game, the more I love it. So I've gotten 80% of the trophies. There's only two that I really have to get. And then one of the trophies is actually take a week-long break. Like, the developers really thought about their audience when they created that. They're like, we don't want you to get burnt out. Take a nice break. But I got my white cloak yesterday. And there was no more designs on it. It's a very bare white cloak. But it's beautiful. And they made it so if it's your first time, you only see other red cloaks. You do not see any white cloaks the first time. Which I think is like really sweet. They didn't want anybody to feel anxious or underwhelmed or there was like a competition so I just love these developers I just can't find if they're working on anything recent Box had a grueling workout she's about to relax Box, what was your workout? I'm nosy because I'm a gym ghost. A little gym ghosty. What's my symbol today? That's cute. Oh, a gym ghosty is a lot better than a gym rat. But what happens is, is you haunt the gym and you're there so late that they turn the lights off and they forget about you. That legitimately happened to me once. I was like, I'm still here. I'm using the Smith's machine. <laughs> Working on those killer legs. Which actually, all you would have to do to get killer legs would be to run in the sand. Like The most unrealistic thing about this game is these little chicken legs I got. Look at me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Like, I'd have legs like a linebacker if I was actually running through the sand like this. You rode and did some weight training. Wonderful. You go, girl. Round of applause for Vox. I usually stream on the days I work out. And today I was like, nope. And yesterday didn't go well either. I'll go tomorrow when I'm not, like, stressed. And being pushed to, like, oh, I only have a half an hour to work out. Evening, Jobert. What you don't see under is the thighs are just colossal under this cloak. Don't look under my cloak. Psh. Let's see, can we see? Oh yeah, look at that. Linebacker thighs. So yesterday I played with iBattery, who's from Finland and amazing, and they were so patient with me and they took me out of bounds, like where the developers were testing everything. And then they showed me how to do a little charge boost. So we're going to see if I can like remember how to do it and awe all of you. That's the intent anyway.
There were parts. I finally, yesterday, the way I earned my cloak, I guess. Not only did I get all the symbols, but then I finally hit all of the little murals. There was one I was missing in Broken Bridges, like behind a sand dune. So you always start off with your red cloak and then you can change it. So we're going to go change it for a little white cloak. And then Snow stopped by yesterday and was trying to tell me that the history of how you get all the cloth, like the little cloaks, is in this game and I like somehow missed the connection. Oh, but look, see, we got them all. We got them all. Just kidding. I stepped on it once. There we go. Look at me. Aren't I beautiful? But my cloak apparently should be more decorated than this. So it might be a glitch. So they were like, you have to beat this game now in the white cloak to see if you get more of the decorations. Because if not, then it's definitely a glitch. I was like, oh. I was able to get my white cloak because Stone looked up the two that I was missing. And, um... Sunken City. Isn't that cool? Everybody on the Journey Discord was like, oh, you must be playing this on Steam. And I was like, no. They were like, ah, that doesn't make sense then. Because the Steam people were complaining of. Come here. Really? There we go. I like it. It's very understated elegance. And we did like this whole walking up a sand waterfall, which was so cool. Okay. It's funny that I keep picking not only beautiful games, but games that have such depth to them. Because Kingdoms of Amalur is like, who am I? What is my purpose? Why did I die? And this game is similar, like, who am I? Why am I here? And then you get to the part about like the tower with all the ancestors and like the big spiritual burial ground and you're like, do I even matter? Like it's not about me. I am unique. Thanks, Vox. One of a kind. Cause I'm TNT. Dynamite. I'm sorry I brought up ACDC. Did I give you like work flashbacks, Jobert? Yeah, are those supposed to be the little cloaks that we created? I don't 
get it. I don't get it. Yes, those are the cloaks. Okay, so how did we create them? Do you know what's so hard is when you're looking on things online and honestly, the entire journey community calls everything something else not by its actual name, but that seems to be more accepted and popular than what the developers call it. So I'm like reading about the Guardians and then I'm like, oh, the Guardians are the war machines. Wait a minute. It's like the life force that we mined up. Oh, because we were destroying the planet. Hmm. All right, so there's an achievement here. I did not get and you have to cross the bridge but without fully completing it so I'm gonna look at this and it might be flying up within the first two might be the shortest And supposedly there's a white carpet cloth guy in this game, but there's only one. And they have been named, well, them, there's one white one and it's next to a red one. There's just two of them. And apparently they're named Gary and Larry. I th We're going to try to see if I remember how to charge boost. Yes. We're going to do our little clockwise circle. And then we'll see if we can do it. Because I might be able to just scoot up, I wonder, from that cliff that we learned how to do it. Unless there's another place. can charge boost. Okay, that's where I was doing it in the corner yesterday. I wasn't very great at it. But I did it a couple times. I hope to show you guys. Because for those of you who haven't seen it, you glow like this right here. You glow like this. It's so pretty. I just want to glow the whole time. Gotta practice. And the battery yesterday, like, made it look like he ran into me and then he face planted and it looked like I tripped him. And I was like, oh my god, you're so cute. I've been trying to do the face plant and I know you sent me this stuff, but I can't manage it. I've been trying to practice. I don't have the dexterity in the button mashing. So, how are all of you doing? You guys like eating dinner, relaxing? What are you all up to? I want a nice, long scarf. So we need to get all of the glyphs. Jobert is eating ice cream. Whoa. Jobert, what kind of ice cream? This is very important. So we walked up one of these waterfalls yesterday. I don't remember how I did it. The sand sliding is my favorite. I wish there was like a real water level so I could like slide on the surface and water walk like Jesus. Okay. So this was the area it was up here. Let's 
strawberry with little chocolate pieces in there. Bye, Vox. Take care. That's right, I said it like Jesus. I wish there was a water level. And apparently this is the whole one that I missed. That we caught yesterday, finally. Alright. Strawberry with little chocolate pieces in there. Alright, so I'm curious, for those of you watching, what is your ice cream choice? Like, what would be your go-to ice cream? Okay. No, 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 we have to get the glyph. No, no, what are you doing? Glyph. Okay. And then we charge boost. No, 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 come here. Okay, so... You walk this way. How did I do it? No, you have to, like, fly into it. I think. Or maybe I'm not supposed to fly. Maybe I'm supposed to just walk. How did we do that yesterday? I have to be, like, in the corner, and I'm having a hard time getting to the corner. Why can't I get to the corner? What am I doing wrong? Oh! Did you see how I glowed for a second? What did I do? Oh, it's my camera angle. I have to fix my camera angle. No, 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 no. Walk forward. Into the wall. Into the wall. Nope, it's not working. What am I doing wrong? Oh, maybe I did have it. Because you supposedly can get up. You can shoot yourself all the way up from there. Or to there. Hmm. Cookies and cream. Like, when it's crucial and you're like, I need ice cream, what is the ice cream order? Curious. Mine would be Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Reese's Pieces actually would be preferable. See, I'm all, like, pretty white. I don't remember how to zoom. I can't do the zoomy zoom. I can only do the flippy flap. Bummer. I had bubblegum ice cream once. That was like really good. That is the official Description? Zoomy zoom. With the flippy flap. Let's see, we got a answer for vanilla with cinnamon sugar and whipped cream. Hmm. Ben and Jerry's strawberry cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> I am the ascended one. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> And I don't know why. Like, it wouldn't let me. Hmm. I'll have to try again. Oh, man. Maybe that's the one we should not have touched.
Almost. Can we make it? No. Okay, we don't want to let those go. Because that will ruin our bridge. Come here, little guys. Come here. Oh, come on. Lift me up. Lift me up. Come on, we can do it. Ah! I think that's it. Maybe we did it. Without doing the first part. So beautiful. Ah! There's a... We did it! We got the trophy! And there's a person there! Hello, love! Do you know how to charge boost? Can we charge boost together? I'm doing it very bad. Your cloak is as decorated as mine! I did it! Thanks, guys! Yeah! And a sip of tea for that. Woohoo! I feel like this cutscene is the one that, like, gets me the most. Like, it's not the most beautiful one. That's later. But this one is very, like... Your ancestors looking at you, and they're judging you, and you're not worthy to be a Master Jedi. Or it's like, I'm sorry, you're taking this journey. Like, I, I kind of go back and forth in what they're trying to say to us. I really go back and forth, I don't know. So pretty. Okay, so the next area. Is this the desert or is this the sunken city? I got distracted. I hope they didn't leave me. They did kind of wait for me, so. Which was so sweet. I like, I didn't even recognize that there was somebody there at all. Like, where were they? They must have seen me come in and then just decided to wait. I don't know. That's crazy. Thank you, whoever you are. I hope you're still here. I love how the art changes here in this moment. How it all seems like surreal, maybe? the person here or did they like really go ahead they've definitely beaten the game because they have the decorative stuff where are they oh they're not here all right so now I remembered it's here where Vox showed me all the cool stuff. Stuff that I kept skipping and looking for. Hello, little one. Look at us, we're so cute. Okay, so if we go this way, I'll find you guys something cool.
So I went to Bermuda once, and there's a beach in Bermuda where the sand is pink because of the coral. Oh, there's someone there. Or is it just a cloth? I can't see. Didn't I buy new eyes? Like, why can't I see? Come this way. They're really good at hiding. I feel like we're playing a game of hide and seek. Oh, they're such a nice flyer. I got distracted by the friend. Come this way. Yeah! Uh, so when I went to Bermuda, there's pink sand. And the reason for that is the way the beach is. It's like set in. And there's all these coral reefs that block it, which is why it's like such beautiful crystal clear water. Like there's no sharks, like there's no gunk. Nothing comes up because of the way the reefs are. And the water and everything and the fish eat the coral and it breaks down and then it washes up so the sand is pink all right so if we go right oh maybe they know it maybe they know where it is and it's like so beautiful Deluxe, good evening, how are you? Welcome back. We're playing a very relaxing game. So the other one is right around here. Oh, we're so cute. We were discussing beautiful pink sand in real life. And then we were discussing... Favorite ice cream orders. Oh, Jobert says that there's glow-in-the-dark waves and sand from the algae. Where's that? All right, there's like an area where three quote-unquote roads meet. And it's right around here. Is it further back? Steak. Oh, my favorite. You said the magic word. Just got off work. Good. Uh, grilling in the snow is the best part. You need to have like a little winter party. Alright, there's the three. Okay. I think I think it's just right over this ridge. Grilling in the snow is badass. When I was in college, my dear, dear friend, her family would always do like a backyard barbecue, but like there'd have to be snow and a tiki torch and they'd grill and there'd be a fire. I think I lost our friend. Where is this damn flower? We found it once. How hard is it to miss a flower? Maybe we'll see it from way up here. Ah! Okay. <clears throat> oh, there it is! Look, they followed me because they wanted to thank me for setting them free. Look, this is the flower. Okay, now we have to be very gentle and we kiss. Ah. This is like a little Easter egg towards their other game, Flower. After you have steak, you should have ice cream. Deluxe. 
Okay, there's a famous beach in the Maldives. Did I say that right? The Maldives? Bioluminescence algae. Oh my god, that sounds so cool. Costa Rica once and they have nice like volcanic black sand Rocky Road ice cream for the wind I'm loving these choices I always say like I'm gonna try like a new flavor and then I'm like nope we're gonna have my like hunk of chunk of peanut butter fudge ice cream doused in hot fudge and peanut butter sauce with Reese's PCs sprinkles, whipped cream, and a cherry. Like, that's not a dessert. That's a meal. <laughs> okay, I think the other one is on the left. We definitely lost our friend. Bummer. Well, if I knew where I was going... Back in college, we used to make um, like hot fudge brownies, and then we would totally pour Baileys over them. Shot of spiced rum with vanilla. Mmm. Oh, look at the sand sparkles, guys. You can hear my little feet. Oh, wait, look at that. There's a star coming back. But we're here. That's not us. Does that mean it's another one of us? Is a companion being born? What does that mean? That can change everything. I know there's another... There's another structure. Because there's another glyph back here. Okay, it's not here. All right, there's another glyph and then there's a mural we're missing. I thought they were both further back. But maybe they're leading me. Like, never drank at all, Jobert? Or just never gotten drunk. So that's like a big difference. Don't make fun of yourself. Today is only positive talk. There's no self-deprecating humor. You're better off. Most likely. Deluxe is, Deluxe is right. I know there's a thing. No. Oh. There's a mural and a castle over here somewhere. So I did hear some gaming news today. Not so much gaming news. It's more like nerd news. Did you know that Netflix was coming out with an anime about Pacific Rim? And apparently it's coming out in March of this year. Like a few weeks away. I had no idea. I don't even know, like, anything about it other than, um, I think, Pacific Rim, the movie with the kaiju and the gay... Uh, yeah, the kaiju and the Jaegers. It's 
was not the one I was thinking of. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, it is pretty cool. The first movie was so good. The second one wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but... There's another mural. I feel like I'm missing stuff. It did fall flat. I was just excited to see it. It wasn't great. So I'm excited to see that they might be making an anime. First there was one, and now there's three. Especially since we haven't heard any news on um, Resident Evil. Oh, there it is. There's the tower. Okay, so when we find the first one, we go to the right. There's a glyph. Go 90 degrees. There's the flower. Cross back to the left front is here for the second glyph. Oh, okay. Does anybody actually know anything about the Resident Evil Netflix series? So if the cloths are the energy of the world that we mined and stole, but now I'm like releasing them, they like better the world, you think? I love their little chirps. So cute. Come here. Fine, I'll do it myself. There we go. We want a nice long scarf. See? It added a glyph. Resident Evil is still just coming soon. Ah. How long has that, uh, been just coming soon? So you're going this way. Yeah. That's a bummer. September of last year. Ah. Oh. Even Henry Cavill's been quiet on his social media. I'm like, there's no Witcher updates? Like, at all? This is the area that I'm the least familiar with. Oh, well, very ominous. So Jobert's playing Kingdoms of Amalur, and he's like in the House of Ballads quest line, and I'm like, that's my favorite quest line. Uh oh, I stuck. There we go. Come on, you can come free. We'll let you free. There we go.
I know you're all stuck. I'll rescue you. Don't worry. Hey, Onyx Blade. Welcome back. How are you? Alright, there's a glyph. Or two in this area. Look, it's like making war machines. Isn't that crazy? So cute. Thank you. We didn't want to go up here just yet. There you are. I found you. Onyx is tired and didn't get much sleep. And because of that, you haven't been productive. Oh no. I'm sorry you weren't having such a great day. And that you're tired. Do you get to rest soon? Hopefully. You should put this game on. Watch me stream. And like lay down on the couch and you'll probably be asleep in like seconds. This is just such a chill game, you know? Look, there's another shooting star. I'm gonna like charge. Can I charge? I think I'm missing one. It says four. Alright, so when we came in, there was the one on the top of the tower. There was one to the right of, like, the little pillar, and then there was this one. Funny, Jobert, you left right when I was saying how you were playing Kingdoms of Amalur and you're playing, like, my favorite storyline. And, like, I can't wait to watch you, like, finish the House of Ballads questline. Where is the other glyph? You finished all of it last night? The whole House of Ballads? Like, with the Maid of Windermere and everything? And you still got up and went to work early in the morning? Oh my god. <gasps> Where is this other... see it. Over here? Oh, and did you kill her? Did you romance her? Like, what did you do? I can't believe I missed it. I was looking forward to it. fell over. I don't see any more shiny things. Maybe I just miscounted. Maybe Onyx needs a nice cup of, like, sleepy time tea. No, stop taking me up and over. I don't want to... Stop! Get away from me. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, there was one up here when we came up here, wasn't there? I'm forgetful in my old age. Come back! Come back! I feel like we have to name her now that she's in a white cloak. It's like she's different now that she's ascended. 
She's like Wendy the White Cloak. Didn't romance her, you killed her. I killed her the first time too, I'm not gonna lie. We totally did. And then I felt bad and I was like, next time I'm gonna romance this chick. And we're gonna have our own little kingdom in this like summer area. Oh, whoa, that was a glitch. That's okay, the game is still beautiful to me. I just like to go up the stairs and you see my really long scarf. the wrong button. Hold on. So it's... Oh, I'm trying to do the zen jumping. Ooh, prickly cactus tea. It's better and it tastes good. It's your favorite. So it's very, like, vegetative then. I love earth, like, very earthy teas. My brother's like, you're pretty much drinking grass right now. You know that, right, T? And I'm like, mm. it's called matcha. <laughs> it's not grass. <laughs> but prickly cactus tea sounds interesting. Oh, yeah, forcing people to do things with magic is bad. That's right. Lesson learned. Oh, I second that. So much onyx. Sweet tea is like so unhealthy. I never even put like sugar or cream in any of my tea. The tea has to be good enough to be like on its own without me having to like adapt it. Because if I'm going to have to add like two tablespoons of sugar and milk like the Brits do, then I might as well just drink coffee and doctor that. We got a new trophy. Okay, so this is the area, the next area that we go to. I need to go through 15 gates to get the next trophy. This is also my favorite area, so we might just stick here for a while. Hello, little one. You gonna take me on a ride? Thanks, love. Best song ever. I have found a yerba at tea, but nothing really like ooh wow wow. Like I don't even really like puer either. All right, let's count these up. One. Two. Uh, let's go left because there's a few here. Ah, no, under. I'm <laughs> not into it. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> uh, six. Oh, here we come to my favorite part, guys. Ready? This is like what makes you fall in love with the game. Oh, no, wait, I'm wrong. It's earlier. But this, too. This area is so beautiful. It's in the next area. When we hit the corridor. All right, so that was uh, six. Is that right? Was that six?
I think uh, Jobert had like an amazing tea the other day that we were like, ooh, it was like, I don't know, passion fruit maybe? And I'm like such a tea snob. And I'm always finding new tea. And I love it. Six. Thank you. Yes, okay, we're on six. Oh, I added a quote from yesterday's uh one. Let's see if it worked. It did! Yay! From yesterday. Quote six. <laughs> Choke me with your scarf, please. I felt like that was needed to be remembered. You have questions? Yes, we are here to answer any and all questions, Onyx. Is it questions about tea or scarf choking? <laughs> So in this game, when you have a partner and your scarf becomes long enough, what you do is you run around them while they stand still and the scarf wraps around them and it's called a scarf hug. Usually you do it like after you pretend to get eaten and you lose your scarf or you guys like get separated but they don't disconnect and you just kind of like do this little thing and then you wrap your scarf around them. But mine kept getting like stuck in my neck and then I was like <laughs> And I was like, that's okay, you can choke me with your scarf. <laughs> We're together, it's fine. And a little trick here, if you miss the um the glyph up there, those little guys right there can boost you just high enough if you need to. Like, if you're here and you're like, I'm out. If you catch it just far enough, they will boost you all the way up. And you can always get it again. Alright, so we're at six. Crap, that's not a lot. We need to get more. Okay. Let's see. Can we, like, scope it out? There's three right there. I don't know how many there is down there. All right, we're gonna take the center so we get a good view. And if we can do this all in one, great. Oh, they all have three. Oh no, I don't know which one to do. Actually, let's do this methodically. Let's go right. All right, so seven, eight, Nine. <gasps> Does that count? Ten? I don't know. Eleven? Twelve? I don't know if that counts. I don't know. Like, maybe that's a big gate, so maybe it does. Thirteen? <gasps> Fourteen? Ah! No, 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 no! We could do it! No! <sighs> okay. Can we get these two? We're moving a little fast, though. Like, I'm a little nervous. Oh, we did it! Yes! Nailed it! First try. And our reward is this most beautiful scene ever. My favorite part.
There's that cello that I love. I'm gonna have to find a way to highlight that. The fact that I did that whole run, that's great. I wish I could find a way to like sit and then slide. I just don't want to come down. I don't want to go to the scary part. Right? Totally nice strings. Who's Jim? What's a Jim? Like a jam? Like a Jim Jam? Blim Flam? Oh, so when you get a PC, you'll play it on Steam? We have convinced you then, Onyx, to play Journey? Oh, gem. Yeah, total gem. So then you want to play this game? One of us, one of us, one of us. I still haven't seen anyone, it's odd. I feel like when I'm a red cloak, I see people all the time. And then I don't see people when I'm a white cloak. scarf breaks between us. I have to say PC gaming has come a long way. There's great stuff on Steam. And they have a sale twice a year, right? Like their winter and spring sale. I just love how long my scarf is, guys. I don't think it's ever been that long. I wish I could like keep it. Like from the beginning. how I turn around and I look around at me like in the environment even though I don't touch anything that's so cool so apparently my person is called a wanderer so like I don't know wanderer Wendy the white cloak Uh, gaming has been good since 2008, just has no, like, major marketing. 
It does have Microsoft as a company, but I feel like Microsoft is more like Xbox. Like, they definitely market for their Xbox rather than... everything else. Maybe? I don't know. I'm not a PC gamer. It's not my style. My brother's a PC gamer. And my other one is uh, an Xbox player. Wow, good job. Now you wasted your entire scarf. I, like, can't sit on the bridge. That's all I want. <laughs> so now that we know Mass Effect isn't coming out until May, what is everyone excited to play? I feel like you were kind of right on that, Jobert. There's no valid PC companies. I think that explains why so many people like tinker and fix their own machines to like have the specs and everything that they want to game. Like there's softwares, but there's no like Alienware doesn't make like a whole computer, and they should. Stop running away from me. You will love me. Get back here. Is that quote from Lord of the Rings? All shall love me and despair. I'm like a little Galadriel. It was Alienware and Logitech. They've got good stuff. There's no lying about that. All you need is a Dell monitor with Alienware PC or Logitech. And then you're kind of good to go. Is that so you guys make some good points it's expensive but it's got good stuff so it's one of those what you you kind of like get what you pay for I don't know Jobert you're a big PC gamer though so you probably know more than I would I don't know what my brother uses I'll have to ask him he said he was gonna stop by but knowing him he's just like lurking Did I miss anything? Can't remember. We got one, two, alright this is the era that we always do very badly in. So pretty. I love like the windows that are still there and they're intact. I don't know, would there ever be a reason I would change though to a PC? Like I feel like I could get along with my console fine. Well I was. Still can't get my hands on a PS5 if my life depended on it. 
And I'm really mad at PlayStation about that. My loyalty was not rewarded. I've been in love with PlayStation ever since you booted up the PS1. There's the glyph. Um, and you hear that sound, you know, with the little... Like the little PlayStation sound. Ever since then, I was like, I'm in love. Probably my longest relationship. How old is the PlayStation 1? <laughs> oh. You built your own? Oh, then you know what? We need to put you in touch with Fuzzy. Because Fuzzy's trying to, like, upgrade or build his own. He's here. He was here earlier from his and her play. And he's like, I don't know where to start because he's such a console gamer too. What did, did I just go through the wall? Guys, do you see this? I like face through the wall. It's really weird. I was like, was it an out of bounds thing? Did I find it? <laughs> Yeah, Jobert, you might uh have his and her play. Be like, help, help. And no, that I was not making a Beatles reference. Alright, so if we hurry, let's see if I can do this. You can save the little guy. Let's see if we can save him. Can we save him? getting eaten. No! Oh, I tried so hard. I tried so hard. Oh, no. I'm just gonna sit down and cry over here. In the corner. It's really upsetting. That was really upsetting. Look, see, I have angry face on. I feel like the white cloak has a very angry face. Because it's like inverted. With a mouthpiece. Built the PC since like you were 12? Wow. Ah, <gasps> the switch. I'm like thinking of getting it because just there's so many other games, old games, that are just ported onto it now that I'm like, I need this in my life. Like I miss playing Donkey Kong Country. They're actually putting Kingdoms of Amalur on Switch uh, this spring. Such a larger than life. Very scary. All I have is this like little tiny gaming laptop. Look, they're gonna get eaten too. Right there. Come this way. Hurry, come this way. I gotta save them. No! Don't look. Alright, we know there's a thing to the right, but we've never actually gone to the left. I mean, we know there's something to the left, we've never gone to the right. I 
I haven't figured out the patterns with the war machines, though. But we might get hit if we're not careful. The reason you like the PCs, you can, like, literally customize it and do more. Like Liberty Mutual Car Insurance, you can customize. Yeah, that seems nice. Like, it'd be nice to be able to have my chat. And, like, not be in the way. And still be able to pull up other things. And, I don't know, um... Like, a lot of the people that I see that are on PC, like, Discord's up and people will be posting things and then they'll, like, slide it over to the screen so we can see it. And I'm like, I can't do that. No bells and whistles for me. All you guys get is my winning personality. Alright, so the other glyph is right there. What happens if we go right? Yeah, but can't you just, like, have a tab? That's what I do. Basically the same thing, right? <laughs> Jobert's like, no. No, it's not. Not even close. Uh-oh. We already learned. That they can hit me through the building. <gasps> Is there two? Am I stuck here? How do I get out? That's like intense. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't. I have to come out right here. Quick! Run! No! Shit! No, 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 no! I'm gonna fly, fall away, and you're not gonna find me! No! No! My scarf was so long! No. That hurt. Like, in the feels. Like, we're just gonna lay there for a while and take that. Look at that, we're just gonna take that. Just gonna take that. I'm dead. I was wondering if there's an achievement for like never getting your scarf hit. Because I was like, this is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the time. <sighs> I hit every glyph and everything. And it was such a good run. We got those two extra trophies. Well, I've saved so many scarves, I feel like I could convince them to, um, like, rebel? Oh, thanks, Onyx. Yeah, total R.I.P. <gasps> Ahoy, Witcher! How you doing? I feel like there's a glyph right here that I need to recharge. You stay away from me, you big meanie. Really upsetting. I need a hug. Can't sleep. 
Oh no. Apparently this is the place to be for people who can't sleep. Do you need a nice, like, soft song? Should I start singing? Maybe you should play some sea shanties. Oh, I could tell one of my ridiculous dad jokes. And then Witcher can be like, nope, never mind turning this off, going to bed. <laughs> like, over it! <laughs> Jobert says need a kiss from the homies before you go to sleep. All you need is love, right? All Witcher needs is puppy kisses. He's got an adorable dog. Just get some cuddles. Ah. Shanties would get you hyped up. Oh, okay. How was your destiny run? So beautiful. It's my symbol tonight. Does it match any of these? Never. Nope. Maybe you need a shot of whiskey or a cup of tea. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love how they were side by side together. So sad. Everybody returns to the stars. Are you able to increase your rank so you can get all the things? It's weird that I still haven't met anybody. Like, I'm not intimidating. And I don't have, like, ADHD. Like, we've already beaten the game now. Why does no one want to play with me? It's the white cloak. They feel inferior because I've ascended. Maybe they're afraid that they'll get a glitch too. Since my cloak is different than everybody else's. Onyx, thanks for using a command. I worked hard on putting in commands and no one ever uses them. <laughs> so I'm glad to know one worked. You still need four levels for the thing that you want? Ouch. 
And that's not something you could, like, secretly play at work when no one's paying attention, right? Like, you need to be, like, at a computer or an Xbox to do that. Look at this little mural. There's me on my journey. And since we haven't met anyone, it should show us in the next session that there is not a companion. Oh, I love that sound, that little chime. like revitalize you. <laughs> well, tea, drink tea tonight. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Oh, it does say that there's a person. But that's a lie. There was no person. I put quotes in there and everything, guys. And you should be able to, like, see how long you followed me. And it should tell you, I don't know, like, all this cool stuff. Oh, you could hit um, exclamation social for all my social media accounts. And then you could hit exclamation schedule to learn my schedule. Try to do all the things. Like, and be, like, legitimate. Yeah. Woohoo. I was like, I don't even know if they work. Can someone test them out? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, I just... That would have been so cool if I could have, like... Taken that right and not smashed into the building. Like, if I could have, like, nicely flown... Apparently, I can't bank worth a damn, though. Uh oh, we're starting to fade. There we go. That's my favorite quote. This is my bag, baby. So as much as I love this game, because there's no death counter, and there's no high stakes, minus losing my scarf, I was like, I'm missing dragons. So I was at Oracle of Dawn's stream, just like watching all her dragon videos because she's playing Skyrim right now. It's like such a cool stream. You guys should totally check her stuff out. All right, there's an area in here where you can like meet an ancestor and I did it and I don't remember how. It's a secret secret, let's see. Nope. How did I do that? I don't remember.
That one apparently doesn't work. No! Look, it says two people crossed the bridge. There wasn't two people that crossed the bridge. I was all by my onesie. I don't like how they call it a whale. I definitely feel like it's more of a hammerhead. And now that, like, Buzzy named it that, I'm like, I can't unname it. This is the whole story, like all the little glyphs. And we're back here. This is my secret door. Oh, there it is. You named the whale. It's not a whale. It is, I mean, that little flying creature isn't actually a whale. Or it is a whale, but I feel like it's not a whale. Did I miss the secret entrance? I feel like it's definitely more of a hammerhead shark. It might be that right there. Nope, it's not. It's hard to see with all the colors in the way. Like all the weird dust sand. Yes, exactly. The whale shark, hammerhead shark looking thing apparently is officially a whale. And I'm like, I disagree with that. It looks more like a little hammerhead. Crap, where's my secret entrance? Is it up there? Might be that one up there. Because I don't see anything else here. Maybe it's the life force of a whale? That secretly wants to be a hammerhead shark? Ah! Is that it? Nope, that's just a cliff. Oh, look at me gloating and flowing and glowing. Oh, we fell. Oh, fun fact, Onyx says it's uncommonly normal for someone's head to have a dent in it from headphones. I want those really nice expensive ones. What are they? The aftershocks? The bone ones that just like rest on the outside on your neck. So like you can still hear everything that goes around you and they're not like falling off and you're not like in the middle of like a five mile run and all of a sudden your headphones fall off and they're like choking you and you have to like put them back in. But I definitely feel like my ear have been shaped by my earbuds. All right, where is my secret door? I want my door. There's a glyph with a secret entrance. It's like I can only weirdly see it from Oh, okay, let's memorize. Now we can orient ourselves because I had really liked this shrine. Um.
Anybody can run, Jobert. Anybody can run. Crap, where is it? I don't want to... I don't want to hit this yet. Where is it? We definitely went too high up because it's not... Do you know I didn't start running until like three years ago? I was not a runner. Where's this door? Can't see crap. Oh, I wish somebody like was a journey person and they could like help a lady out. Determined to not move on. Oh, is that it right there? That's it. Yay, we found it again. Okay, twice in a row by ourselves. All right, so what level is this though? Uh, one, two, three, three. Oof. Yeah, that I would believe running to be a form of punishment from there. Um, walkers get a ton of credit. You guys have like such good endurance. Oh, there's an ancestor. Do you guys see him? Do you see? There he is. Isn't it funny how it, 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 it's a guardian, I think? Looks like a, a war machine, doesn't it? Do you see him? I know enough to be able to finally show you guys stuff. I watch the speed walkers in the Olympics and I'm like, how are they running faster than me? <laughs> yeah, they were made to be guardians, I think. And then we turned them into war? I don't know. I don't know enough of the lore. A lot of interpretation. I want to know what is the closest glyph. There's our whale friend. Alright, so the closest glyph is the one that we were standing on. What is the closest mural? Because that'll help us orient too. Come on, get us up there. Alright, so we're looking at these bridges. Straight up, straight up, kid. Straight up. One that faces the way out, okay. But faces the way outside, which means... Ah. It's closest to the one where we were walking alone. Is that right? Go back down. Zoom. Zoom. It all looks the same to me. Crap. We lost it again. It's the whale. It's another bridge. 
Now we're too far down. I just don't want to have to spend like 80 hours in this area every time. You know what I mean? Jelly beans? Onyx, you're good at ciphering lore. Oh, here it is, this one. This stuff is all very deep. I'm like, I'm totally reading into this too much. Maybe not enough at the same time. All right, so it's here. We're going to go straight up. Let's not move. Come on, straight up. Okay. It is. It's the one directly under the bridge. So the one to the left should be the mural of us being by ourselves. Ow, I just hit the bridge. <laughs> and I saw that too, and I still hit it. Right? All right, perfect. We were right. It is right in this corner on the third level. Oh my God, there's someone there. I wonder if they moved on already and they just have it in my game moved on. They did move on, yeah. I miss them. I keep missing people. And I hate being in the snowy mountain area alone. Streamlabs is love. Streamlabs is life. No, you know what's better? OBS. 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 I don't know, Onyx, the developers never came out and said, like, this is what this means. This is very much like it is what you make of it. Some people are like, oh, it's very much like the fall of civilization. And this is like, yeah, it could be very more spiritual and rebirth and Here it is, the one we like the most of our journey. That one gets me every time, guys. Every time. I, like, try not to talk during it. <gasps> Hi, Oracle of Dawn. How are you? Good evening. I was talking about you earlier. I was like, I miss dragons in my life. So I was talking Oracle of Dawn. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to watch her run around Skyrim. <laughs> Will you be streaming Skyrim tomorrow, right? Because it's Friday. Yes, awesome. I picked Dragon Age Inquisition, which had dragons. Then we picked Kings of Amalur, which had dragons. Then we picked Dragon's Dogma, which has dragons. And we did not. This has no dragons. I was missing dragons. I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. I have a thing for dragons. 
Okay, so somewhere in this mountain whole scene, this mountain scene, the temple, there's supposedly a red cloth and a white cloth. And it's the only white cloth there is. So we want to be on the lookout for it. Got a nice long scarf again. This time we have to make sure we don't get eaten. We are playing Journey, an indie game that's actually very old. It's like nine years old. But it's so beautiful you would never think it. And there is no dialogue. There's no speech. This entire game is portrayed and explained through sound. Like these cute little chirps and cutscenes. It's just beautiful. Oh, there's a friend! Wait! Wait! Oh, maybe they're new. Or maybe they heard that I'm a mean person. No, 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 wait! But we could go together! No, they're like, we're gonna go do our own thing. They say that red cloaks don't meet white cloaks during their first time. But all the white cloaks I keep missing run away from me. I think they're very intimidated by me. Guys, I need you to be honest, chat. Am I intimidating? Look, they're like totally ignoring me. See if we could warm each other up now. Now that we're together. Oh, they have a nice long scarf. Hi. Oh, look, we got it now. Oh, look, I made a friend. It's okay, I'll keep you warm. I'll wrap you in my scarf. Wrap you in my scarf. Quote number five. <laughs> I think I'll make it. Today we're all about the positivity. <laughs> Jober only shows up out of fear. <laughs> That's good, man. That's really, really good. Look, I don't think they've, they haven't gotten hit. Their scarf is just a little bit longer than mine. Okay, remember, we're on the lookout for a white scarf. Aw, thanks, Oracle. Guys, Oracle's just love. She's a doll. She's a lady. Whoa, 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 she's a lady. Come this way. Oh, wait, no, you don't want to go that way. We'll get eaten. Ah! Oh, I'm the most foul mouthed person you'll ever meet. I actually have the funniest story. I'm from New England and I drive a car with a sunroof. And I was like on the phone with one of my friends and this person like totally runs the light, cuts everybody off, like could have killed people. And I was like, you know, WTF, oh my God. I was so mad. I was starting to cuss like you wouldn't believe. And the person like clearly was like, la la la, I don't care that I could have killed like four people. So you know what I did? I jammed open my sunroof, stuck my hand out and flipped them off through my sunroof. And I, then I pointed at them and I was like, you, <laughs> you're the a-hole. <laughs> and I was just like, ah, my friend is just like, I love you so much, T. <laughs> She's like, I tell people that story about you all the time. I'm like, oh, great. So they're going to think I'm like this rage monster. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and get warm. No, wait, you got to come up here. There's stuff up here. 
We gotta come up here. Get up here. Up here. Here. Right here. Come to me. They're like, we've done this before. We don't want to come here. We've already gotten this one. Like, but this is my favorite one. Why is there nothing here? Why is there nothing here? Why is it not working? Am I in the wrong one? No, oh, you go up. Maybe it's because my cloak is glitching. Are our symbols the same? No, they're so close though. They're like reversed. Okay, fine. I guess it won't work. It's fine. Sorry, I'll wrap you in my scarf. I apologize. I totally broke the game. Yeah, so apparently the mural doesn't work. And I have a different cloak than anybody else. What attracted me to this game was the soundtrack. I listened to it all day. I tried to listen to, um... Oh, what was it, Jobert? Bandersnatch. No, that's a monster. Uh, Basset Hound. No. Bass Nectar. Bass Nectar. It is Bass Nectar. Yeah, that's right. Bandersnatch. <laughs> Some good stuff. Yeah, Oracle of Dawn. This game is beautiful. And it's fairly short. It's like an hour and a half, two hours. But it's really like what you make of it. And it's very different like on your own versus a person. And it's so interesting how you get to care about a total stranger. And that you can't talk to them. And it's just funny because... Like, 90% of communication is nonverbal. It's gestures, it's sounds, it's how you stand, the whole nine yards. And yet here you're, like, not talking, and you're like, how do I communicate, you know? So some people are overly affectionate, and they chirp a lot. Other people aren't. Okay, last time I got eaten... So I'm going to follow him. I'm scared. I'm scared. Chirp, 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 chirp. Okay. <gasps> scared. I don't see any of those white... Maybe they're over there to the left? I don't know. No. See, now they're like chirping because we're trying to be together. Bass like drum. Bass like drum? Uh oh, uh oh. Are we gonna get hit? Chirp, chirp. Tweet, tweet. Just taking a break from the wind. Okay, go. And this game is just because you can run into different people and you can totally lose them or do the whole journey with them. It definitely changes each time you play it. It's an experience. It's base nectar. I was saying it wrong the whole time. Shows how cultured I am. Oh, it's funny that you say Shadow of Colossus. Um, I've never played it, but next Saturday, it's going to be our marathon stream of... <gasps> ah, give me it! Uh, our marathon stream game. We'll be starting at 8 o'clock on Saturday, February 13th. 8 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard. And we're going to try to finish the whole game, because I'm told it's like a 9 to like... 12 hour game 
my chat was voting for it, and that came in second place. And I was like, that's the perfect game then to do my stream for. I don't know how to hype. I posted it on social. Oh! <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. Let him hit me. It's okay. I'll run away from you. It's okay. You'll be safe. Oh, my God. It's going to stay here. Really sad. I need a moment. They didn't come after me. All right. Get up before you freeze. Look at my scarf's gone. So I have the remastered of the Shadow of Colossus on PS4. No, no, don't get hit. It's fine. No, it's okay. They can come after me. Take my whole scarf. It's fine. So I'm told it's like minimalist in style, Shadow of Colossus. And even though it's not an RPG, that the story is still amazing. And I have to play it like life changing. You can't be late two nights in a row, Jobert. Go have fun. Uh, take care. I'll have to stop by later. Have a good stream, Jobert. <gasps> Night Witcher. Thanks for staying awake and hanging out. I hope you have a restful sleep. All right. And that tomorrow passes like a breeze at work. Everyone, toss a coin to your witcher. Toss a coin to your moderator. Do you think they feel bad that I sacrificed myself? Or maybe I was slow and maybe I deserved it. <laughs> I have seen the Witcher TV series and I've played the games and I'm stalking Henry Cavill on Instagram and the writer, the, or not the writer, the director as well to get like every update that I possibly can get about the show. Is this the two? Nope, these are red. I'm really excited. We still don't have a date. It might be out by the end of the year, though. Oh, uh, the third one is my favorite, like, RPG. But they're all great. Good open world RPG, and, um... It's not like Skyrim in the way where your choices actually matter. Like, people die. People live. You could actually lose both of your love interests. You, did you make it? Oh, you did make it, and then I just fell. But, like, so many... It's such a big game, and there's so many side quests that most people don't finish it. CD Projekt Red said. Come on, you can do it. I'll chirp you up. Oh, now I fell all the way down. <laughs> so concerned about other people. It's great, though. And I think it's honestly has aged well. There wasn't really too many glitches. There's a bit of a learning curve in terms of the combat in the beginning. HC plays the game? I haven't seen anybody stream it. Because I know it can be, like, a lot. I'll have to see. Um, I really liked the TV show. What did you guys think about the TV show?
I love the TV show. I wish they had put the like timeline in it because I understood when they changed timelines, but most people didn't. But I thought it was very important that each of those main characters were able to grow independently and tell their story. But most people don't seem to realize like Geralt and Yennefer are like almost 100. Oh, Henry Cavill plays the Witcher. Yes. Oh, he does. He's like, I want to be this guy. He's like so into it. He's like, you have to pick me. <laughs> There's a scene of him like having tea, I think, or coffee. And he's in like a business suit. And he's just reading The Witcher like in this nice room with a fireplace. Have you ever seen it? So funny. What's the one woman? The little blonde girl or the brunette with the purple eyes? His and her play. Uh-oh, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. No! I'm always a little slow. Oh, look, they came back for me. Oh, you have seen it. Oh, good. Okay. I was really worried when he got injured. But I'm glad to hear that he's back and filming and he's, you know, out running and he's okay. Like, I'm seriously training for my fourth half marathon, but he goes through, like, intense grueling workouts and then films. Like, takes him, like, two, three weeks to do a fight scene that's going to be, you know, two minutes. Oh, you fell down. It's okay. We can fall down together. It's fine. And then to go film, like, and then have to keep fighting. Like, there's just not enough recovery time to safely do that. I still can't find the one or possibly two uh, white cloak. Oh, you're talking about Yennefer, the dark haired with the purple eyes. You don't like her that she gave up kids. Or she gave it the chance to have kids and then is pissed off about it. And then, yeah, spends the rest of the show wanting a baby. She grows up. Ish. Like, that's just such dedication that they do. The guy that they picked to be the bard, the one to play Yaskir... Joey Beatty is adorable. She gets better. Ish. Actually, in the games, I didn't romance her because she annoyed me. And then, like, the whole story un unfolded, and I was like, oh, oops. gonna make it we're okay we're together you know our cloaks are so frozen I can't tell which one's me <laughs> I love this game I, and bought the complete edition to this. So the other two games that the developers made are on here, but I've never played them. I've never even seen them. It'd be interesting to see if it's worth it or not. Look, my little chirps are barely working. Walked into a gravestone. How disrespectful. Tea.
with our little chicken legs trying to make it up this mountain. Come on, we can do it. Together. Guys, is this hitting you in the feels right here? I'm on the right. And I just lost my friend. I just met, lost my little red cloak. I would have shielded them from that if I could. Tried to chirp. It wouldn't let me. It's interesting how there's such epic music and then the death march, like, it's nothing. You literally just hear yourself trudge through the snow. Like, just so beautiful. Oracle, do you play on PC or do you play on console? Now we're reincarnated. No, we're kind of in purgatory. We're not reincarnated. We're in purgatory. Possibly heaven. It's paradise. And we're together. Look, look at us. We're so cute. We're together. I'm going to wrap you in my scarf. <laughs> Give a little scarf hug. I missed you. Oh, PC. Okay. Which means we could never play together then in this game. PC people stick to PC. Oh, listen to those strings, guys. So beautiful. Oh, did they go up to the bridge? I'm sorry. What, did you want to have a moment on the bridge and I didn't get there? Okay, I never do this right. I always fall. Oh, I landed on it! Come here. Sit with me. Please? Where'd they go? Maybe they fell down. We're like, what are you doing, old lady? Resting. <laughs> oh, the Wii. What a funny little console. Yes. But I would love to play, like, Breath of the Wild one day. But I can just do it on the Switch, right? In Donkey Kong Country, because I don't think I've ever beaten that game. I always die in those stupid little minecart episodes. A nice little aerial 360 I did, like as if I was a professional figure skater. 
I'll do one again for you guys. Boom! And again! Are they coming out with an upgrade? Hold the phone. We need some gaming news. Oracle, tell us what you know. Is it going to be like a Switch Pro? I want to like play in the water. Can I play in the water? Oh, that crescendo is just like, huh. And then we just float here together. Do you guys notice the little glyphs in the air? I don't know how to get down to you though. How do I get down to your level and not fly higher? Oh god, I don't want us to get separated. Where are you? Did you go back? Oh, they're up here in the waterfall. I love the little anemones, little jellyfishes right here, and the way they spin. Within the year, they're gonna come out with a super switch? What? Because I think this is the most fun I've ever had in paradise with somebody. Like, this is just beautiful. You can clearly tell they are a beautiful soul. In real life. Look, they hid. <laughs> 4K graphics. Wow. That's the time to get the super switch, then. Wow. I'm so glad you told us, Oracle. I'm so glad you stepped by. <laughs> came in a little hot. Sorry. My landing was a little hot. I want to play in the water. There we go. Makes me think of that, what is it, like Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy song? Like when they're dancing in the water and the water lights up. Oh, I'm gonna start fading. I don't have enough juice. I don't have enough juice.
don't even know where I'm supposed to go anymore. Oh, there they are. They're over there. Sorry, I got stuck. Does anybody know any other gaming news? I haven't heard anything lately. Like, it's been so packed the past couple of weeks. I've always had some sort of update. And the only big thing was about the Mass Effect this week so far. <gasps> Did you sit down? I'm gonna wrap you in my scarf. This is like the best part where we glow. With the music. Are you guys crying? I'm not crying, you're crying. They're over there. I'm sorry. Got ahead of me. Okay, so you know what we have to do when we're at this area. Okay. What do we draw? A heart. We draw. No, no, stay right there. I'm gonna draw you a heart. Draw you a heart. Draw you a heart. <gasps> they drew a heart back! Guys! Ah! Mwah! Wait. Mwah! He gets back. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna go this way. And you go that way. You guys are doing it! Ah. <laughs> guys, hearts for my companion, whoever they are. They're just a... Love. They're just love. A beautiful soul. Okay, now I do a little... Crazy eight. A little infinity sign. Because we reincarnate. Okay, I'm coming now. We had our fun, sorry. Do you think I'm lovely too? Is that what you're saying? Oh, they drew a little heart. Oh, we chimed together at the same time. Now I don't know what they're trying to tell me, though. Like, how could you care f so much for, like, another person that you don't know? Isn't that insane? I don't want it to end. But part of the journey is the end. Come on, we gotta go together. Come on. Together. You wanna walk with me together? 
I'm not usually this emotional, but this game, man. I can't chirp anymore. Oh, they could. I could not. Bye, my friend. Bye, love. That's right, Oracle. Hearts for them. That was so nice. We spent so much of the game, like, by ourselves. It was nice to find someone towards the end. And they're so kind and caring. And I'm like, oh, there's someone was just sitting there waiting for me, for moi. Oh. And then I thought we got left behind and they didn't, they waited. It's just beautiful. Oh, it's just... So, what did you think? You saw most of this. Um, or no, you saw most of the... You saw the last two areas. There's seven areas. And then you see the sparkle light. That's us. I'm all about games that have great gameplay. Look, there I am in my little cloak. All about those games with good gameplay, good story, and this is just like wow. So, this game is co op, but it's only for two people because they wanted the developers wanted you to have like a good positive experience, so they had tested it with four people and what they found was like three people would gang up on one person or they'd leave them or it'd turn into like two versus two but you're less likely to like leave someone if it's just one person and it's more intimate that way oh we're gonna look and see if my cloak fixes itself because I never beat it as a white cloak. I just got my white cloak last night. So if my white cloak now has more designs on it, then it's okay. If it's the way it is now, then it's definitely a glitch. But everybody in the journey community thinks it is a glitch because I should have already had more designs on my cloak. You get more designs on your red cloak as you go. Or like every time you complete the game and you have a journey. And I'd done it like four or five times, and then I got my white cloak. So at least four. Fingers crossed for the glitch because it's so cool. And this game is very much like what you make of it. It could be very long, very short. They left the testing area in too. So you can go like quote unquote out of bounds and just like run around and play and so beautiful. This area right here is my favorite when you're sliding through this corridor and the sun setting. It's just beautiful. This whole area.
Yes, this is by that game company. And like, the first time it's very quote-unquote slow because your scarf is not as long, you have to find everything, the whole nine yards. But when I finished it, I was immediately like, let's go again. Like, there's more to experience, there's more to have. Like, I feel like people who just played that one time and they're like, well, that was nice, and then they put it down like they don't get it. That it's what you make of it. Let's see, ask the eight ball. Is the cloak... Itched. Oh, wait, I didn't do it right. Alright, let's see. The answer's within yourself. Ah! Okay, so... Who... Was our friend? Alpha 09 was in the... F beginning part. It was Goosed. CZW. Hearts to Alpha and Goosed. Like, especially Goose. That was so beautiful. That last part. I don't know them. I haven't played with them before. Or met them along any of the journey chats. Oh, but they're just lovely souls. Is it Goosed or is it Goused? Goosed. Let's see. How glitched are we? We're back at the beginning, and you always start with a red cloak. Oh! That more designs on my cloak? Actually, we're coming to a scene that I had posted on social media today. If any of you follow me, I had posted this scene coming up, like this nice, beautiful view. right here. I was sitting down. And you see like the graveyard and then the mountain in the distance and the sun. Isn't that beautiful? Like this whole game is just like I'm like this is beautiful. I feel like I said it like 800 times. We have another symbol, a new symbol this time. We've never had this one. Feels very sturdy, like a tower. What does that look like to you guys? What does that look like to you? Oh, the white cloak is in the next area because you reincarnate with your red cloak. So we're going to get there right now. I have to get a scarf first. This is like your intro, quote unquote, your walk. And see how short my little scarf is? And then it's gone! A sign of strength, maybe? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Like, just look at as far as the eye can see. Oh, I think actually one of the stories is right here. This oracle's never seen it. We'll just scooch real quick. 
there? I think there's a cliff here. I'm supposed to read a story. That was a really long game, because it's uh, 8.30 now, and we started right at 6. But that's because we tried to do, like, all the extra achievements, and made sure we found all the, like, cute little ancestors to show you guys. Depressing. Alright, let's go get our white cloak. See that white light shining? Not the mountain that split in two, but the shining part. We're gonna come right to it. And this area, you're always alone. Okay, so here's your progress where you get all the glyphs. Just get your really long scarf. And here we go. Let's see, white cloak. Looks like there's more patterns to it, doesn't it? No! I wanted a glitch! I wanted a glitch! I mean, like, they're pretty, but... I wanted a glitch. So there's actually another row after this, so I bet I would get it, because there's four. One, right, one, two, three, it's four, I'm told, supposedly. Hey, Parker. Good evening, how are you? Guys, this is Parker. Parker, everybody. We're playing a very nice, beautiful, relaxing game that doesn't have evil spiders or a death count. Let's just call Journey. We're, I'm good. I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking. Let's see if we can find anybody. I would like to... Parker, do you know of this game, Journey? I saw that, congratulations. Man United beat Southampton 9-0. to zero. Like, it was insane. And we just loaned out Benamino, my favorite forward, from Liverpool to Southampton. See how beautiful the world was? There was birds and trees and air and plants. And then there was us, all living in harmony. Night Fuzzy, Night Phoenix, at his and her play. Take care. Have a restful sleep. And uh, I'll watch your social media accounts to see when you guys go on. I think you're going to go on on Sunday, right? After taxis. Oh, there's a person in the distance. Nope. Oh, this game is beautiful. There's amazing soundtrack, but no vocals. Do you know if, um, did your man, Mason Greenwood, score any of those goals today? I 
don't see anybody. Do you guys see anybody? I don't. How's your week been going, guys? Reassist. Good for him. Nice. You guys are still number one. Snow days on Monday and Tuesday. Oh, that's nice. Don't I look very majestic with my little white cloak? With a gold trim. So pretty. And now that we're going to be in this area, I wonder if I could do any of the cool moves that they were trying to teach me yesterday. Have you guys been playing any any games this week? All right, let's see if we can do the cool boost move. I couldn't do it last time and I couldn't figure out why. You have to get into like the little crevice up there. Oh, maybe it was in the wrong one. Come on, what are you doing? Running into the wall. Ah. All right, I'm pretty sure it was this wall right here. Okay. Why can't I get closer? Okay. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. I was doing the charge. I was doing it. I was doing it. Okay, hold on. Fix my camera. Hold on. See how it glows? 1, 1,000. 2, 1,000. 3, 1,000. 4, 1,000. 5, 1,000. 6, 1,000. 7, 1,000. 8, 1,000. Vroom! Look at me go! That wasn't great, but I did it. I wonder if I have to hold the other one. Try again. Apparently this is called charge boosting. I was doing probably very badly if anybody else had seen it but I'm trying, I'm learning Did I not zoom? What am I doing wrong? It is a beautiful game. I guess we'll have to move on. Because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. This is 
the next part of the story. Yeah, the graphics are just amazing. This game is from 2012? Is it older now? It's like nine years old? Wait. That doesn't make sense. It can't be nine years old if it's from 2012. Maybe 2013? Did it come out? It did come out in 2012, so it is nine years old. And like, you wouldn't think that it's it'd be this old. Like, that's insane. You guys have any fun weekend plans? Right, because we're almost to the weekend. Oh my god, this game is just so soothing. Uh, this weekend, we'll be streaming on Saturday, and Sunday we will not be streaming because it's Super Bowl. And sports are a big thing in my family, so. Watch some Super Bowl. My dad's team is actually in the Super Bowl, and that has, like, never happened. Except once, like, before he was alive. So he, so I'm like, I have to cheer for his team. Snowboarding, yay! And Oracle's gonna relax. Nice. What does that mean? Like gaming, gonna read a book, pretend like you dropped your phone and you broke it, don't answer any calls. <laughs> He's mad at you for not wanting his team to win. That means you're if you're not rooting for the Bucks, you're rooting for KC. Ah. I'm actually in a football pool, so like whatever team wins me money is like that's the team that I'm going to cheer for. Sounds really relaxing, Oracle. Read a book. Say so you dropped your phone on the stairs and just like don't answer it all weekend. I do that all the time. I'm like, oh, I dropped my phone on the pool. I was at the pool this weekend. Sorry. <laughs> I had to throw it in rice to try it out. <laughs> okay, hold on. Can we... I want to sit on this and look really cool. You think we could do that without like falling? No, stop. How did they do that? How did they sit on this? No. Oh, so you're just against Brady. Aren't you a Patriots fan, Parker? There it is. Ah, we had it for a second. Psh. I feel like I'd have a better chance of like sitting on this. Ah. And maybe we could like wait here and see if we see somebody. But I don't see anybody. Ah. All right, I'll show you guys my favorite area. Oh, the last one didn't go. There. Dawn, are you going to watch the Super Bowl? Miss Oracle? 
Or you're like, nah. Oracle, you're a Broncos fan? I'm a Broncos fan! I'm the only one on the East Coast that's a Broncos fan! I've been a Broncos fan my whole damn life! I was brainwashed, infected with the orange when I was a wee lass. What are the odds? I'm literally sitting here drinking from my Broncos water bottle. <laughs> my little Broncos Tervis cup while I was reading your message. Orange crush. <laughs> United in orange. We're in a uh, rebuilding decade. <laughs> my family's from, on my mom's side, from Colorado, so. Was actually... out there a few times. You know, growing up in the whole, like, Elway era, like, how can you not be a Broncos fan? You're in Colorado? No way! That's awesome! Look at that small world. Shout out to my girl from Colorado. That's awesome. Do you like it out there? Well, you guys might have a better chance. I hate Cam Newton. Such a punk. And he's not as good as he thinks he is. Ever since we crushed the Panthers in the Super Bowl. I'm told Colorado is one of the best places to ski and snowboard because they actually have like real snow over here on the East Coast. It's like snow with some ice and some sleet and a rock or two. Colorado's got like the best slopes. And the whole paleo movement started in Denver, right? That fancy, fancy doctor. Oh, we're going to face plant and not make it. Oh, I did not anticipate that well. Look, he said, thank you for coming to rescue my friend. Okay, so then we got to go to the 90 degrees so I can show you guys the little flower. And then we'll actually get to my favorite area. So this area is officially called... Like... The desert, part of Sunken City, but it's pink to me. To me, this is more like the pink desert. Where is it? 
Oh, there it is. There's the flower. The flower's my good luck charm. It's for my scarf not to get eaten. Here's the flower, which is an Easter egg to their game, flower. And we just give it a little kiss, a little... Gently. Gently. There we go. The Coral Sands. <laughs> it does. It makes me think of Bermuda so much. We still haven't seen a friend. Now they're all free, and they're all happy. Ah, here's the next part of the story. It's so weird that we still haven't seen another person. I feel like I just don't see people when I'm a white cloak. glad that you love Colorado and you love where you live. That's nice. You guys got good food there too. Okay, so there's another glyph to the left, but we, we don't really need it. We've got them all. Just want to show you my favorite area. Look at people starting their journey. Little stars. Oh, Rocky Mountain Oysters. No, 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 no. Don't eat the Rocky Mountain Oysters. <laughs> so ominous. So Parker, how's your gaming going? Uh oh, we just literally almost missed that. <laughs> Been playing any uh, Rainbow Six or Crash? Excuse me. I just sneezed. Did you guys hear that? I apologize. Uh oh, where's my friend? Where's my friend? Come on. <laughs> the carpet's like stuck in that corner and just like does not want to come to me. I do sneeze like mini mouse. That's actually my my sneeze. Bless me. Thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh my god. Sea of Thieves. So good. Sea of Thieves is so good. And Minecraft. There was actually just news about Sea of Thieves. Uh, the players were trying to get like a 
bigger crew sizes, and supposedly that's not happening anytime soon. But they are going to be getting seasons, and I don't know what that means. Look, we set them all free. Aren't they so cute? Finally, the fav my favorite area. The best area. Here we come. This one is so thankful he's going to give me a ride. Oh. Season one, like Fortnite. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is my favorite area. There's actually a trophy if you go under like 15 bridges, and we literally just did it for the first time. Uh, the playthrough before this. I just little flips. Let's get this glyph. Woo! Bye, Parker. Thanks for stopping by to chat for a bit. Have fun. Take care. And uh, have fun snowboarding this weekend. And boom. Oh. I almost wish like this area was not in between my two favorite parts. I love how he's following me around. He's so cute. I found a friend! Or someone found me! I'm so excited to see someone! I don't think he knows that I can refill his chirp. We can refill a scarf if we chirp together. Alright, here's the most beautiful part. Oh my god, so beautiful. I just want to play in this area, like, forever. Oh, we missed the jump. We're going to miss our glyph. Oh, here we go. No, we could do it right here. Yes! Woohoo! And then we're about to get into... what I literally think is the most beautiful shot in the entire game. Are you guys ready for this? This is like what made me want to play. Right here. This whole part. This.
Oh, with the with the cello. Isn't it lovely? It is lovely. That's it. That was like, I gotta play this game. <laughs> oh, they like literally don't want to go read the little thing. But the thing is right here. I always like to read this one. I don't want to lose them though. So we'll just like run real quick. Okay, so the People started to fight over resources. They weren't friends anymore. Nobody lived in harmony. See, they're sad and regretful of their past. like stole the energy of the earth to war. You're fighting. Did we lose our friend? If we don't sit down like in a similar time, we might have lost them. And I'm alone. I'm alone again. Oh no, we might have gotten separated. Why do people keep leaving me? Oh, I didn't make it. I was going to be cool and go right through the... So Oracle, earlier we were talking about our ice cream flavors of choice. Like what is your preferred like go-to? Or ice cream. I'm curious if anybody else in chat wants to tell me their answer. Okay, where are you? One. Two. And I think you're the third one. I think you're the third one. There you are. Oh, 
Oh, let's see. Super chocolatey type fudge brownie. Hmm. Apparently there's a way to get to Outer Bounds, but I don't know how. And it's here, but I don't know how. That sounds really good. I wish I had some chocolatey, fudgy kind of brownie now. Alright, this time we're not going to be hit and have our scarf taken away. We'll have to let everybody else be sacrificed. And I'll feel really, really bad about it. But I don't think I could handle, like, another destruction of my scarf. I always feel bad for that little one that gets eaten. I try to, like, save him. Watch what happens. You see him moving. And then boom. Ah! <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Just chocolate. You can't go wrong with just chocolate, right? I have a very particular Sunday order. People are like, that's literally a meal. Like, you can't eat that. And I'm like, watch me. <laughs> watch, ready? I'm gonna eat that one. Too. See, they built the little guardians, the little war machines. Oh, my scarf's long enough where I could do that all by myself. That's really cool. I made it the whole way. Ah! Please don't hit me. Any good shows to watch, guys? Because last night, The Expanse had a season finale. And I have nothing to watch. I mean, like, I guess I could just play more Journey. <laughs> but all the shows... That I watch, of course, got hit really bad because of COVID, so they're all, like, on hold. Uh-oh. Might get hit. Yeah. So I'm always looking for new shows. I prefer shows that are, like, done because I just don't have the time or the memory to like watch a season wait nine months have to rewatch that season to then watch the new season I really watch TV like pretty much just like my Netflix you don't watch really TV anymore <gasps> heroes though what a classic Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Right? Cave is so sad. So sad.
You just watched all of Supernatural? Like, it's done now, right? Is that right? It's like done done? It is done, wow. I got up to like seven or eight. Like there was the whole heaven and hell thing and then it was like, I don't know, purgatory and leviathans and man of letters and it got weird. I had stopped. And then I guess it like got really good after I stopped. Was it good? Did it like have a good ending? Or did it have like season 8 Game of Thrones ending? Like was it worth the 15 season investment? <laughs> Here's me, on my little journey. I liked it, like that first couple of seasons when they were like monster hunting. And then it got too much like, how many times are we gonna die and bring each other back and sacrifice ourselves for each other? I mean, like, beautiful brotherly love, don't get me wrong, but. But then I liked Cass and uh, the old guy, Bobby. They were, like, great B-team characters, you know? Oh! <laughs> Oh, good. It was worth it. Okay. Did you see I had a friend in that one? I had a little person on the mural because I had a friend on my journey. I just love the art. So beautiful. Cried like a baby at the ending. Like ugly cry? Oh wow. Maybe it is worth it. Maybe I should. Watch it then. Just to like finally see how it ends. Alright, we already went to the super secret room. And we know, super secret room. I am so powerful. Look how long my scarf is. I could trip over it. Major ugly cry. Oh, wow. Okay. I appreciate the no spoilers. Maybe I will. I was with my friend. Where's the one where I'm by myself? Uh, nope, that's us. It's the one I'm by myself. Right here. No, go down. Go down. Because this door is here somewhere. It's 
it's on the third level. Wait, one, two, three. One, two, okay, three. There it is. I see you. I want to see if I can show you the little ancestor. Since you've never seen this oracle. Hold on, let me do the little glyph mural. And there's a glyph right here. But there should be an ancestor hiding. Come on, little guy, where are you? Oh, no! He's not here. You like scooching in and out? Let's see, let's try again. Ah. I don't know if there's another place to see one. I wonder if because I moved the water up. No, you have to move the water up. Is he like hiding? No? No, I wanted to show you the little guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, so 15 seasons of Supernatural. At like 24 episodes, pretty much. A season. That are an hour each. A lot of time. The one I need. Is it that one? There it is. It's over there. I don't know if I'll make it. I guess we'll find out. There we go. Look at the cute little whale. See him circling over there? In the corner. Looks like a little hammerhead shark. Just skip to the last season. Alright, awesome. Okay. I was like, I don't know, that's a lot of time. I don't know if I have. <laughs> oh, everything's so shiny. And there's the mountain in the distance. Oh, Gabe and Summers are streaming right now. Just read the recaps. Isn't that kind of cheating? But not really. This is my favorite cutscene.
And this is the part that you came in at. Yep. And I love how you can't skip through these. We're just gonna like totally run through the other part, the next parts really quick. Cause I wanna know if my cloak is glitching or not. I wonder if the reason I have the decorations on the cloak is because I got the last two achievements. There's only one left for me to get, I think. And it's literally to take a week break. Isn't that funny that they made that a trophy? Still haven't named her. I need to name her, but I'm not good with that. I was on this whole like alliteration kick and I was all like, Wendy the White Cloak. I don't like that. So you can get into out of bounds like in that corner, but I'm not good at doing it by myself. I never even did it, so. Bye, scarf. Now you're gonna freeze. Yes, it could be. Have you ever played Code Vein? Still haven't seen anybody. Maybe I've been like blacklisted in the journey community. Maybe nobody wants to be with me. Ah. Never heard of it, okay. It's gonna be our next long game stream. It's uh, done in like an anime style. It still looks so pretty. Like trying so hard to flap. <laughs> How long have you been streaming for? Just curious. Tell me everything about you, Oracle. That you're comfortable with, of course. My flippy flap is a little tired. Oh, you're a fresh streamer too? Yeah, I just started just over a month ago. We did like a month celebration. <laughs> I was like, it's my one month anniversary. <laughs> it was like a week or two ago. You always end up back in Elder Scrolls. Have you been following any of the like Beyond Skyrim projects? You know, those people that are modding and adding to... Like, what are they? They're, they're doing Hammerfell. What are those three cities?
Oh, you do know what I'm talking about. You're like, of course I know what you're talking about. How could I not? Couldn't be a fan if I didn't. I like the music and everything. Like, looks like great stuff. Like, there's a nice, like, ambiance channel that they have. Of, like, the areas that they're designing and everything. That would be nice. Sky Oblivion. Oh, that'd be so nice. Alright. I always want to, like, fly over this with my very long, long, long cape, but I don't know, like, if I'd make it. Let's try. Hiya! We did. It's funny how Bethesda's like, yeah, we don't need to fix or upgrade or do anything. Like, those people will just do it for free. Because we did such a terrible job that first time. All right, we are not going to lose our stuff now. It's not happening. That's why, like, people were upset in Greedfall that there was, like, a few glitches. And I'm like, listen, they don't have the money that Bethesda does. Bethesda could have fixed things, and they didn't. So, like, I wasn't upset when there was, like, a tiny, like, you know, NPC that was frozen and not moving in Greedfall. I'm like, that's a smaller studio. That's okay. Didn't they just post something about Elder Scrolls Six about it being, like, pushed off, like, not anytime soon kind of thing? I don't know, they've been working so much on the online stuff, like elsewhere, and I know, it doesn't feel very Elder Scrolls when I see that stuff, though, you know? It'll have 16 times the detail. just saw that carpet like fall to the ground and freeze and I feel so bad. We're almost there. Is he going to turn? Are we going to avoid him? Are we going to make it with our scarf intact? <sighs> Guys, that's the first time I didn't die. Well, that's because I cheated and stayed to the right. Oh my god, it's funny that you say that. I have been trying to find information about Starfield because it's their next RPG. And they're like, it's coming. It'll be here before Elder Scrolls 6. And I'm like, mm -mm. that doesn't tell me anything. Like, I still have not found anything solid about this. It's like, Bethesda's making an RPG, space opera. And I'm like, okay. Oh, it's just them keeping secrets? Okay. Alright, we're gonna do it this time in one shot. Yeah! Oh, that'd be nice hoping for EA3. Maybe I'll actually hear something about Horizon Zero Dawn, too. Horizon Forbidden West. I didn't know they're making Indiana Jones. I don't know anything about that. Wow. 
Oh, don't fly. You'll fall over and die. Which game do you think might be a great game that only has a teaser trailer out? The Indiana Jones? Starfield? Horizon Forbidden West? Wait, is there a trailer for Starfield? Oh, come on. Make it, make it, make it. Yay! No! Run, quick. Flap, flap, flap. Trying not to run into the graves. I don't want to be disrespectful. Look okay, at my scarf keeps getting shorter. My life force is dwindling. We're doing this slow trudge of a death march. more scarf. Sad part. Look away, look away. Uh, it's always so much sadder when my companion goes first. And your companion always goes first, I'm told. When you have somebody. Like, just when you think they're going to faint, no. Like, the developers knew what they were doing. So used to, like, you know, 13-year-olds, like, bullying you in Fortnite for sucking. And they didn't want any of that. They didn't want, like, any of that negativity and toxicity. And I think that's, like, so beautiful. And the way it should be. Like, we just want you to form connections. Breaks my heart.
paradise. Which is not as much fun to play around with if you're by yourself. Though my floating is pretty cool. I'm gonna try. Honestly, if I do 10, I'll be happy. But I really want to try for 12. And... That's the plan for my marathon stream. We were playing Dragon's Dogma over the weekend. And then... We got stuck into this, and right when I was about to leave, like, someone joined me. And I was like, okay, that's six hours right there. Like, as long as I have people popping in and saying, hey, like, hydrate. Like, don't forget to stretch. I feel like I could do it. Like, if I have my little snacks next to me and, like, maybe turn off, like, the microphone for, like, a bite here or there. And if I play, like, a brand new game that I could theoretically complete in the, at the same time length, I feel like I could do def definitely do that. I don't think I could just play like Monster Hunter World for like 12 hours, and I don't think I could play this for 12 hours. But I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm off um, because I'll be getting my second COVID vaccine shot like the day or two before, so I'm hoping I'll just like relax and rest sit on the couch. I'm hoping I don't have any like reaction. So like we'll play that and then maybe like cool down with some journey or I don't know maybe slay some monsters. I don't know. Everyone's like, you gotta hype it up. I'm like, I don't know how. I don't know anybody to hype. <laughs> but I have a bunch of people. Like, I'm on the East Coast. Like, but not all of the people I'm connecting with are on the East Coast. Why am I being smashed into the water? So I thought this would be a nice way to like be able to connect like on a better time than them being like, I'm watching you but I'm falling asleep. <laughs> you know? I don't know, does that sound stupid? But it'd be nice. And I'm trying to get to 66 followers, that's my goal. Maybe if I'm streaming at different times very specific. I want 66. It'd be nice if I could make affiliate before that because then everybody could like play with the gamer coins and I could tell my dad jokes. Okay. Art. For you, Oracle. Art for you. Art for whoever else might be lurking. I haven't chirped because I'm by myself. I almost forgot. I watched videos. Lots and lots of YouTube videos. Like gaming career, I think is the one I watched. Like they have a whole series, like good five, ten minute little videos about how to do it. I started in Streamlabs and then Streamlabs decided to like reset and I lost everything. So I spent a whole weekend making it and then two weeks later it went down. And I ended up moving straight to OBS. Yes. Are you a designer? Are you doing that on your own? That you're working on your new logo? 
I just started thinking about that. I figured if I like hit like 50, and I actually had like consistent people watching me because I didn't anticipate ever having anybody say hello. <laughs> so I didn't think about a logo in the beginning. You're doing it on your own? Oh my God, that's so creative. Hey, did you make affiliate the other day? I saw your post and I was like, is that a late post or, or not? And I wanted to know if I could ask your permission. I figured I could recommend your channel when I'm offline. If you would be okay with that. Because I think you're wonderful. Average viewer to be affiliate. Oh. Of course. Okay, perfect. I will definitely fix that. So sad. How many average viewers do you need then? I have no idea what the difference is between host and raid. I'll be honest. That part I haven't figured out. You need three viewers. Then a 30 day time frame. Like, oh, consistent? Does that mean you could lose your affiliate status? Like if you have it? Wow. Oh, three average viewers, yes. Then I will definitely put you on my recommended channels. Today's the first night we weren't hit by like a bunch of bots and spam, so this was really nice. You know, I don't even check that stuff. I never even check. It's okay that you only stream a few days a week. It's all about consistency. Like, I've stuck to my schedule. I have not really gone off of that. Except for Sunday, I will be for the first time. And I'm, like, kind of nervous. hard because I'm by myself like I don't have somebody to like bounce stuff off of like his and her play they're so great and adorable and they're a couple so they can like one can play one could chat you know I'm definitely an introvert what I started to do was talk out loud all the time because I didn't say anything at first so like I'll be unloading the dishwasher and I'll just make running commentary about unloading the dishwasher as ridiculous as it sounds. And then I really kind of prep. Like, I talk about my tea, what I drank, like, what's going on in the gaming things that interest me, like RPGs. I got my really corny dad jokes. 
which if you stop by on Saturday after your stream when we play Dragon's Dogma, they're all dragon related dad jokes. <laughs> And I'll see people, but they say like only 30% of your viewers actually interact with you. So it's definitely easier to talk when they're talking back. I don't know, I almost think of it like therapy. Not therapy. Yeah, it can be therapy, but it's just nice to like be out there connecting. And if I can make someone laugh or smile, even if they don't say hi, and they're just like having me on while they're cooking or something like I'm totally okay with that that makes me happy <gasps> who did we meet jet lag THC Benny see Travis oh my god there's so many I don't know any of them Bootsy was the last one though Hearts to them. Thank you, guys. Ladies, lords, adventurers, fellow wanderers. Hearts for jet lag and Benny and Bootsy Travers. People are like, I go on Twitch to make money. I'm like, no, I have a day job that I'm secure in. Like, I'm financially stable. I'm not here to make money. Just... COVID sucks. And if I can connect with other people who like the same things, because technology is a wonderful thing, then I'm all for it. And we really intend to end. I just want to know if I have more designs on my cloak. Ah! Oh, look! That looks like a fully completed red cloak. Let's, like, run to... The white cloak and see. That means I had a quick glitch and it was fixed. I liked it when it was fully white without the gold. Oh, it does make sense. Okay. And it's just fun because I have, like, I don't know if you've seen me on social media. I had posted a pile of games and it was my done pile and it was my to do pile. And they were finally the same height. Like, since we've been streaming consistently, I've knocked out three games. Oh, I love this symbol. This is so cute. And there's, like, so many games out there that I thought were underrated that I just want to, like, share with people that have meaning to me or that I'm, like... I've never played this, like, probably don't know about it either. Like, let's go through this together. Let's, uh, go on a journey, as they say. I do have to pick up Dark Souls again, though. But I started as a thief, and I feel like that's really hard to do. I literally could just watch people, you specifically, play Skyrim all day long, though. I really could. <laughs> like, especially if you roleplay Skyrim. Like, the first time I did it, I made the mistake of, like, trying to do everything. And then my, like, later playthroughs were like, okay, we're going to be evil this time. So we're going to do, like, Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild, etc., And then I was like, all right, then I'm going to do a full mage one. And then I'm going to see if I could do like a little apothecary alchemist and be a thief and not have a companion because I'm a rogue and rogues go solo. Ah, 
We've got more stuff on our cloak. I think we still have one more level now that I'm a white cloak to go. I think, I feel like there's big diamonds on the top. Or maybe that's it. I don't know. Let me see. Let me spin around for a second. Spin, spin, spin. I really just want this as a cosplay. I think actually that might be it. There's the first one, then the second, then the diamonds, and then the spots. I think as a wanderer, that might be, that might be it. Oh, sorry. I made you sit down. I'm sorry. Here, you can sit down again. My little wanderer. <laughs> the drunken Nora tried to learn her magic and dragging her best friend Eric around. I know, I was so cracking up. I feel like I have it. I feel like that's the highest robe. I think we're finally there. Yay! Because it's like right below your shoulders. Woohoo! We did it! Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. So. We keep doing this thing where we keep going over our stream time. So, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to end at a normal time today. But I was thinking... Gabe is on and he's playing Journey. Maybe we could just raid him and say hello real quick. Would everybody be down for that? For sharing the love and supporting him? Awesome. All right. Hey, Onyx. You were lurking the whole time. <laughs> we uh, finished it again and we did fix our white cloak. So now we are as fully complete as we could be. But I hope, uh... Oh, you fell asleep? Good! You were tired. Go back to sleep. But, um, I had a great night. Thanks, guys, for lurking, chatting, hanging out. I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll be back on Thursday. Thursday? Today's Thursday. Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard to do the DLC to Dragon's Dogma. So I hope all of you take care and uh, stay positive and drink tea and incoming raid to Gabe in like 10 seconds. Thanks guys for supporting them. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.